Thanks, Megan. Salvation Army worker Eric Nurheim's job has him heading to the streets of Wichita. So we go where, where people are at. Nurheim served his country in the U.S. Navy for 22 years. Now he's part of a Salvation Army team helping homeless veterans with services to get them housing and hopefully able to sustain themselves again. Downtown Wichita, there, there's some locations that are available for uh, for homeless. Nurheim is the veteran coordinator for the supportive services for veteran families. It's a program designed to help uh, individuals that are prior veterans or prior military service, so veterans, uh, help them with either rapid rehousing. It's a nationwide, federally funded program through the Veterans Administration. The VA awards grants to Wichita Salvation Army to run supportive services for veteran families in the central region of Kansas. We're not just going to get you a home that's empty. There is help to furnish their home. The goal right. is to help the veteran to make it on their own again. As soon as we're gone, then we need to make sure they're going to be successful when we leave. Wendetta Williams is one of the hundreds of veterans helped through the program. The Salvation Army's rapid rehousing work helped the Navy veteran get into this apartment nearly a year ago. At that time, I was in a very difficult relationship where I had to leave it. Williams is working with a Salvation Army caseworker who helped her with the housing, getting a new job, and with a pathway to independence. That would have a huge impact, and I thank God all the time. And Williams was referred to the Salvation Army through a temporary shelter she was in, an example of help agencies working together to get veterans needed help. There's people that live behind in some of our wooded areas. Meanwhile, Nurheim regularly searches out veterans among the many homeless encampments around the city. We go under the bridges, we go into the places, and, and there are places all around Wichita. I, to be honest with you, I, I honestly would never have known the, the need there is until I started this position. Bridges crossed by thousands well, daily often hide encampments like this. This is just one location that we, we come to, and, and some, there, there's oftentimes where there's some veterans here. Um, but they're all over the city. It's not just isolated in one place. So this is just a, one example of some of the places that we've we come when we, when we do an outreach check. And an eviction notice from the city means these campers will likely be on the move again. There's a tent right over here if you, if you just look, just right here along the path. Wichita's homeless are all around us. Sometimes they are in plain sight in downtown areas. Other times they might be hidden in wooded areas like this in encampments. Hello, Salvation Army. But the Salvation Army tries to find the veterans Hello. amongst them. Salvation Army. To see how they might help them. We're looking for veterans today. You want to happen to know any veterans in the area? Nurheim hears of a potential lead to search out. Okay. He says the supportive services for veteran families has helped 484 households in the 2023-2024 grant period throughout the state of Kansas. Help is available, but not all want it. So actually there was specifically one veteran, he didn't want to be housed, he, he actually wanted to stay here. Nurheim defines program success. Successful is somebody that is able to reintegrate back into normal living and having the home and having the facilities they need to be able to, to be able to live a, a life like you know, a lot of us do. And so we recognize the Salvation Army's Supportive Services for Veteran Families program with the Veterans Business Service Award.